We go to Jasmine Arenas live in Denver where crowds rallied today. Jasmine, there is raw emotion, anger, and even fear. Good evening, Karen. You can see their emotions on their faces. Hundreds gathered at the Capitol, chanting, holding signs, and even sharing stories about their families overseas. An American Palestinian, it's, it's really sad to see this situation and feel that your voice is not being heard. As crowds stood in solidarity, many expressed their frustrations. They're trying to, uh, to, to, to revolt against the aggression and the violence of Netanyahu's government in trying to call for peace for the Palestinian. And their reality. So 14 members of my family specifically were killed, uh, 10 of those being children. One protester chose to share her story, but asked to remain anonymous, afraid of the potential backlash she may receive for speaking out. I feel a lot of guilt being here in the United States when the United States is, is funding uh, Israel to kill my family. This rally went on as a war marched into its eighth day, with Israel firing back for the deadly attacks by Hamas a week ago. The violence has already taken thousands of lives. And we support a peaceful transition for the Palestinian people to earn their state. The focus on protecting lives is shared by Todd Yamant, the co-chair for the Israeli American Council chapter in Colorado. Um, and we're so grateful to live in a country where the right of free speech is respected. He says it's not a matter of standing with one side. We at the Israeli American Council are working actually on, on several fronts to address this is a current crisis we're dealing with. We are against any act of violence and we're against any harm to any civilians on both sides. Now, while this rally was in support of Palestine, there is another rally scheduled for Sunday in support of Israel. We do plan to cover that as well. We'll keep you updated on CBSColorado.com. Live in Denver tonight, Jasmine Adenaz, I'm covering Colorado First.